Fires are raging on the island of Maui. Flames have ripped through the historic town of Lahaina on the island's west side. Thousands of people have been evacuated as the high winds from Hurricane Dora fueled those fires. Thousands are without power as the governor issues an emergency proclamation. KTVU's Amanda Quintana spoke with people at the airport heading uh, out this morning. One couple said they're not sure if their home will still be there when they land. The house burned down. We have nothing. Right. We have uh, two cars. That's it. And what we have right here. Kimo and Steph Kirkman were vacationing in the Bay Area when they heard about the fires in their hometown of Lahaina. The whole town is gone. Fred Street, Lahaina Luna, we live right off of Lahaina Luna. We have a house. And our dogs are stuck in the house. We don't know if our house is up or we don't know if our animals are alive or not. So we're heading back now. All they know is what they've seen on the news, a video showing massive flames taking over the popular tourist town, home to about 13,000 people. They say their house is in the middle of all of this smoke. It's never going to be the same. No. Apartments and stores have burned down. Multiple burn patients have been flown to Honolulu Hospital, at least one in critical condition. And the Coast Guard says they had to rescue a dozen people who jumped into the water to escape the flames. 911 and phone service is also down. The Lahaina fire is just one of the wildfires burning. This drone video shows the intense wall of flames from fires in Kihei. There are also brush fires on the Big Island. While most things can be replaced, the way kids pictures, yeah. all the, all, everything. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. I won't even have any pictures of my kids growing up. The Kirkman's main worry is about their dogs, Nori and Bruno. That's our babies right there. Their daughter just couldn't get into the town to rescue them. We told her to turn around, get out of there, or go by the ocean so you can jump in in case the car gets on fire. The Hawaii Department of Transportation is asking people not to visit Maui in order to keep roads open for emergency responders. But Wednesday morning, Bay Area families were on their way for summer vacation. We'll figure it out. We're just going to rally. Some unaware of the fires. The people who live there are okay. Uh, I feel like if we're staying in like a very populated and like dense populated area, I feel like we're m most likely going to be safe, even if it's without power. Others simply not worried. Not much we can do about it. So I think if there's a serious concern, we can always head back out, go to a different island. There'll be a potential to get somewhere safer if we need to, but hopefully that doesn't happen and it doesn't come to that. Two flights took off for Kahului this morning. There's another one scheduled later today, but the Department of Transportation is trying to urge visitors to stay away from Maui. In Oakland, Amanda Quintana, KTVU Fox 2 News.